Good order, Mr Costa. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, could you advise me on how I can put on the record my concern that there has been absolute silence from separatist act activists about the fact that today was meant to be Independence Day for them. There has been no reference to this whatsoever in terms of respecting the Scottish electorate. Could you advise me, Madam Speaker, on how to put that on record? Bankruptcy. Well, I, uh, well, I understand the point that the Honourable Gentleman is making. Uh, sorry. I understand the point the Honourable Member is making. And uh, I am aware, although I was not in the chair over the last hour, that while Mr Speaker was in the chair, various honourable members made some very uh, interesting suggestions about how today uh, could be celebrated in future. And I have a feeling that the honourable gentleman's point is about to be answered by further point of order from the honourable lady, Tasmina Ahmed Sheikh. Thank you, Madam Deputy right. Speaker. I'm not quite sure where the Honourable Member was when we were just um, having business questions exactly. when I specifically exactly. made reference that perhaps it speaks to the fact that members of this House, particularly those on that side and particularly of the male sort, don't listen when women are speaking. Yeah. How about the start yeah. today? Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could correct the Honourable Lady, but... But her observation that it is often the case that the male kind of person doesn't listen when a female is speaking is indeed the case. But, but with persistence, we will overcome that. And I am certain, I'm certain, I can assure the Honourable Lady that the Chair has, has, has heard what she has said, and I can assure the Honourable Gentleman uh, that the matter that he has raised uh, has been properly listened to here in this House.